all right welcome back to another video today we're gonna be playing gpo it is finally released hopefully you guys enjoy this game this game we've been waiting for this game for like four years and it's finally out so far the release on this game has been very very successful the game's 300 robux and it's paid access and 16k players are playing a paid access game earlier it said 20k that's a lot of players playing a paid access game the release has been successful i don't care what no one says that is successful on Foyu's part that is really good 20k players on a paid access game is really good but are they gonna keep playing the game after a few days i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see but yeah i'm gonna cover everything in this video to the best of my ability this is basically gonna be like a starter guide things to do day one type of video i know i'm kind of late to these starter guides on this game but hey it is what it is there's a lot of things i want to talk about on this game this video is probably gonna be kind of long um this video is also gonna be all over the place i don't know how i'm gonna edit this video i might just like cover like one topic at a time or something or just like do multiple as we get to the islands i don't know but um i'm probably gonna go to like every island and explain what to do on every island and like the order of leveling and stuff i'm gonna like explain that to the best of my ability but we're at 179k subs 1000 subs away from 180k and then 20k subs away from 200k subs so please hit the sub button like this video and let's get started and if this video helps you guys at all if this starter guide video or day one guide video thingy helps you guys at all please hit the like button on this video if you guys want to see more content on this game the first question i'm going to answer is about double fruits uh people are going to ask a question of how do you get double fruits fast on this game please know that this game is not double fruit reliant you do not need dough fruits to slap people in this game there's countless videos of people using a dough fruit and getting slapped like i remember watching this video by hepatitis uh this guy he does a lot of uh gpo pvp videos there's this one video that he uploaded where he was fighting a magu user and he slapped him with mint combat you don't need a dough fruit to win in this game look at this he slapped the magu user that's benir right there he uses magu he got slapped you do not need a dough fruit to win in this game but i understand the appeal of oh it's a dough fruit i want a dough fruit i want a dough fruit too i have pika right here this is pika pika you guys already know i have this fruit i've had this since last video and yeah i'm still using pika i'm gonna switch though because i'm not gonna stick with this fruit but for the sake of uh teaching you guys how to like level the dough fruits logia and stuff i reset my dough fruit so like all my logia is gone so if i walk up to an npc right here uh my logia bar is really short yeah look at that my logia bar is really really short but you're gonna probably want to get the dough fruit notifier game pass this game pass is 9k robux this game pass used to be way cheaper i don't know why it's 9k robux now but apparently he's gonna take it off sale after 48 hours so yeah if you really want to find dough fruits I recommend buying this game pass every like three hours or four hours a del fruit spawns and then once the del fruit spawns it pings the location on the map and then you just go into that direction and then you just go get the del fruit and it helps a lot so yeah if you guys want that buy that or if you can't afford that 9k robux you have to just use this thing the del fruit notifier for one hour you have to use this game pass this game pass is going to help you a lot because those are the only two ways of knowing if a del fruit spawned i'm sorry but like that's just the only way because uh it's not guaranteed to be four hours i i think it's like three to four hours and whatever time in that interval is when the dough fruits gonna spawn so yeah i wanted to answer that question about dough fruits first immediately and dough fruits despawn after an hour if i'm correct if you go into the updates channel uh increase dough fruit despawn time from 45 minutes to one hour so like after a dough fruit spawns you have one hour to find it and i don't recommend finding a dough fruit in a public server like that that's probably like really hard to do all right okay let's get started okay so i'm 100 percent sure i'm gonna miss a few things this tells you where stuff is in the game so yeah if i miss anything like where a trainer is how to get something i don't know whatever just check the trello because i'm sure i'm gonna miss a few things so yeah okay so when you first start playing gpo you come over here you got the customization screen um the race you're gonna want to go for the most is mink fishman you don't want fishman because if you get a dough fruit you can't swim like it, there's no point of having fishman at the moment fishman combat isn't made yet you don't need it skypians i think all they get is like bonus jump height and like that's not really worth it human is just human that's just normal but out of all these you want mink but even if even if you don't get mink it's okay mink doesn't even do anything that special other than mink combat that's like the game changer here because uh you're gonna want to get mink combat so you can level faster i'm gonna explain that a little bit later when i get to the barista island but yeah mink combat is gonna help so try and get mink if you can't get mink it's okay don't worry about it all right so once you get in game uh you're gonna spawn here at this island i'm gonna speed through this as much as i possibly can um basically you're gonna want to farm this raftalia quest until you get to like level 15 or so and then you can leave this island uh, there's many quests on this island that you can do but the main one you're gonna be farming is this raftalia quest um you can do all the quests here and make sure you get the shovel because you're gonna need the shovel 
I think this guy gives you the shovel. You can buy it right here. Make sure you get that shovel because you're going to need that later, probably. You need the shovel to farm money because, like, uh, you, like, pick up the sand and then you can get money from it or whatever. But you're not really going to use the shovel that much. So it's okay if you don't buy it. Um, This is where you buy guns, I think. I'm the gun seller in this town. If you're interested in my guns, buy one. Uh, you can buy a gun right here. You can buy it if you want. I don't really have a gun. I don't really care for the gun because you can get a bazooka from a boss. It's a boss drop. But yeah, you're going to want to farm this Raptile quest. Farm that until you're level 15 and then you can leave this island. After that, you're done. After you're level 15, you can come over here and make sure uh, you use double EXP if you want to level up faster. Uh, it's a choice. Uh, you don't have to. It's only lasting. It only lasts 15 minutes, which is pretty bad in my opinion. I wish it lasted an hour, but it's only 15 minutes. But yeah, before you leave the island, make sure you buy Denden Den Mushi and buy a boat and you buy hammers because you're gonna need hammers you need hammers to uh repair your boat it's so, like don't get stranded buy a hammer and buy a, a freaking denden Den mushi if you want to talk to your friends i don't really care but yeah when you leave the island uh talk to kohaku right here and then she sends you to go to the sand island and turn in a little quest uh the island you're going to is right over here it's the sand island in this direction once you're low 15 you can leave that island and then you come over here to this island there's a boss on this island but you can ignore the boss for now you can come back to it later uh what you're gonna want to do um you want to farm this quest right here you can ignore every quest here except this one uh talk to noah farm this quest until you're like about level um 30 or 40 30 or 40 any of that's fine i recommend grinding to level 40 uh you could do all the quests that are on this island if you want to but just farm this noah one because uh the other quests don't give as much exp as you can um there's a quest right here for a boss named tyrone um where you fight this boss right here ignore this boss for now you can come you're gonna come back later to it because he has a boss drop for a bazooka that you can get if you want and that island is very important because you need that to train your logia i'm gonna explain that later but yeah once you're level 40 talk to rave and then he sends you to go over here um you're gonna be going to shell town i don't know the direction so i'm gonna use a log post and make sure when you get over here you can buy log poses right here if you talk to bomi but they cost like 1k if i'm correct all right so i'm gonna go over here to this direction because this is the direction of shell town once you're level 40 you can leave that island and you go to shell town after shell town the game starts getting harder so yeah do know the game does get harder and don't worry if it seems i'm going very fast i am going fast for a reason because i don't want this video to be too long and don't worry we're gonna come back to that island all right once you get over here um the trainer to buy the little uh sword was here but it's gone now uh, when you get that quest, you can turn it in right here to Dave. But yeah, you're on this island called Shelltown. Uh, this is where you join the Marines if you want to. If you want to join the Marines, it's in that little place up there. But we're going to ignore that for now. Um, this is where you buy potions. Just to let you guys know, you can buy potions over here at Linda's Bar if you want to buy potions. Make sure you set your spawn by talking to Robo if you want to. And make sure you talk to Bomi. And when you get to a new island, do not forget to set your spawn. You used to be able to buy the sword in here, but you can't buy the katana in there anymore. I'm going to explain that a little bit later. Uh, I'm pretty sure the katana trainer is at the one sword style trainer place or whatever. And that's like a different island island so yeah i'm gonna explain that a bit later uh the quest that you're gonna want to farm the most when you get to this island is this quest right here i went past it on mistake you, know, you talk to robert and then you farm this quest until you're about level i think 40 or not 40 my bad i don't know if you left sandor at 30 but you farm this quest until you're about 40 and then after that there's a harder quest right over there at the back of the island that gives more exp um the quest is right over here you talk to this npc i'm pretty sure the quest requirement is like level 50 or 45 i don't know what it is but um you want to farm this mission until you're about level um I think 60 or so or 55 i don't know if 60 is overkill but 55 and up here like i said this is where you join the marines uh there's a boss here that spawns but you can ignore that for now uh you're gonna come back to that later once you're like max level and then you farm the bosses for the boss drops but yeah ignore zoro all he does is give you the boss quest so you can ignore zoro for now all right after you're done with this island you should be about level 55 or 60 make sure you use wxp that helps you level up a lot faster um after that um what do you want to do you want to go to the barista island and the barista island is just straight ahead from where i'm facing i'm just equipping the log post just in case so i don't like mess up my flight if i fall into the water at all i have to like go all the way back from shell town i don't feel like doing that so yeah you want to just go straight ahead from this direction just straight to the right and then you should end up at the barista which is right here um this island is really annoying it's a small island but the npcs on this island are really annoying and you guys are gonna have problems with this and uh this is why i said you should get mink set your spawn in here you talk to robo and you set your spawn and i forgot to go over the skill points uh the 
main skill point you're going to want to focus on in this game is strength because once you're at 129 strength, your your strength caps out at uh, 20. Your M1 damage caps out at 20. And you're going to want Mink because you want the Electro thing. You can skip this island right now and go to the Zoe Island if you want and get the little Electro stuff. But um, yeah, you can either come to the Barista Island next after Shell Town or you can go to the Zoe Island. But I'm going to go over the Barista Island now because we're already here. So you can uh, talk to this quest right here. You get the quest right here and you're going to want to farm this until you're like level 85 and then you go do the Buso quest. But the NPCs in here are really annoying. And I say they're annoying because one of them uses a gun. That one uses the gun right there. And when you fight on this quest, do not come in here. Do not fight the quest in here. You want to farm them out here. And if you have the mink stuff, you just do this. And you just get a free M1 combo. And you just farm it like that. That's very efficient for farming this quest. You can literally just keep doing that over and over. And that's the Creek Pirate one. Electro Dash. Easy. That's literally how you farm this quest. That's why I said you should get Mink. Mink Electro fighting style is really good. And let me show you guys where to get the Mink Electro now because uh, I gotta hurry up because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, you wanna go to the Zoe Island, Island of Zoe. And this direction is right over there. So from Shell Town, if you go to the Barista, you can just come over here and just go straight. And then you should end up at this Zoe Island. Honestly, in my opinion, I think you should go to the Zoe Island before you go to the Barista because the Zoe Island is way easier. After Shell Town, go to the Zoe Island because this island is just way better. So the order so far is Town of Beginnings and then the Sandora Island and then the Shell Town. And then from the Shell Town, you come to the Zoe Island. And this is the Zoe Island right here. And make sure you talk to Bomi for the log post and set your spawn if you want to. Uh, you're going to want to farm this quest over here because uh, he gives you what is this barrel buyer? Okay, that's a new NPC. I've never seen that. But yeah, you want to talk to this guy and he gives you the quest that you farm here. You farm these little Zoa people, but be careful because they have Electro. And uh, this is where you get uh, Mink Electro right up there. And keep in mind, Mink Electro is going to have the transformation later in the game when more updates come out. So yeah, you talk to this carrot girl and she teaches you the uh, Mink Electro. So yeah, if you have Mink, you have a good advantage in this game. That's why I said Mink is the best race at the moment. You have the little Mink Fist and this increases your damage by like... 0.1 or some crap it's really bad but yeah this is the island that you come to next after this you farm this island to like 65 and then you go to barista i recommend after shell town come to this island you farm to 65 and then you go to the barista island all right so we're gonna go back to the barista island because i want to show you guys where to farm your uh buso after you're done with the barista island uh after that you're gonna want to start getting buso you should be about like level 85 after you're done with the barista island now i'm gonna show you guys where to go get buso i'm pretty sure it's cory island so we're gonna go in that direction right now and this npc is about to kill me <laughs> yeah this npc is gonna kill me <laughs> oh my god all right so from barista island you want to go to cory island and keep in mind you need 25k that's why i said you want to farm this quest so we're gonna go to cory island cory island is straight in this direction right past zoe honestly you didn't have to come back here it was a, it was kind of my mistake by telling you guys to come back to barista island but so yeah if you keep going or sailing past uh zoe island you should end up at cory island soon uh cory island's the island the little snowy island that i did in that video um that's where you farm buso and this quest is kind of difficult because um for the quest you have to kill 100 yetis and it's really annoying and it's gonna take you a while to do this is like kind of no way you're gonna speed run this unless you're getting help or something but yeah this island is the cory island it looks like this all right uh when you get here you're probably not gonna remember how to get back to this island so make sure you buy the log post all right so you come in here uh you talk to ray and his quest is 25k and he tells you to farm these yetis um to farm these yetis you just gotta punch them like that's all i can really tell you they go through logia there's nothing you can do about it just punch them until they die but keep in mind these yetis are going to gang up on you like these yetis are annoying to fight like they're really annoying they go straight through logia just keep farming them if you're a mink uh, this should help. Yeah, just keep farming them. I'm not doing that again because that quest was annoying to do. But yeah, after this island, uh, you should probably go to Arlong Park. And Arlong Park is really far away. I'm going to kill myself probably so I can just uh, spawn nearby. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But um, where's Arlong? All right, we're at the barista now. And from the barista, you want to turn around and go in that direction. Um, I'm probably going to like put a map on the screen of like how the entire game's map looks. There's like multiple maps drawn for this game. So yeah, I'm going to put a map on the screen here if you guys get confused. Uh, you got to go past the Coliseum and then you'll end up at Arlong Park. So yeah, if you guys get confused, there's a map on the screen of all the islands. And at the Coliseum map, I guess you can just ignore that. I'm pretty sure that's where the PvP is going to be. Or if you want to go fight your friends, you can go to the Coliseum map if you want to. But you don't have to. 
Alright, so if you keep going in the straight direction like I told you to, you should end up at Arlong Park. It looks just like this. Um, this is Arlong Park right here. Uh, there's a boss named Arlong inside of there, but you don't have to go inside of there. Um, that's for farming a boss drop and we're gonna show you that a little bit later make sure you uh set your spawn and you talk to bomi if you want the log pose and uh there's a quest back here um i'm pretty sure it's like somewhere over there oh it's on the other side uh, if you come back here there's a quest right here and this is where i farmed until i was level 105 so yeah you can farm this island until you're level 105 if you want to after this island you should be level 105 and if you're not 105 i guess you probably just like overextended and left islands too early but um it's okay if you do that honestly because like there's no rush this is just day one you don't have to do all of these things day one this is more of like a leveling guide and just what to do day one after your max level um you want to probably just farm boss drops now and that's pretty much what i'm gonna show you we're gonna go to sphinx island and that's one of the newer islands in game i'm gonna fly up somehow how am i gonna fly up i'm gonna light lunge in the air and if we fly over here uh this is where the monkey island is and this monkey island is really annoying this is where you farm the monkey crown uh, it's a really good drop because it gives like two times hp but uh it's really annoying to kill him so yeah this is the sphinx island right here if you went in a straight direction like i told you then you should end up over here um you can set your spawn in here if you want to but yeah this is where you like farm the boss mission there's an npc right here where you can like farm uh levels if you're not max level yet you just talk to groni or goni my bad um let me quit this quest you talk to goni and he tells you to farm those monkeys over there this is where you farm if you're still not max level yet but you need to be at least level 85 to farm these monkeys these monkeys are kind of squishy but uh yeah you can farm these if you want to but they do a lot of damage so yeah like be careful and do not aggro that monkey king because that monkey king will destroy your hp so don't fight him at all but yeah that's pretty much what you do day one uh you just ma mainly focus on leveling uh other things that you can do after day one is uh farm boss drops and that's what we're gonna do now um i'm gonna show you guys where to farm all these bosses i'm not gonna cover all the npcs in this video because uh this video is already getting too long so like if you want to know how to get any of these fighting styles you can come to the uh, trailer right here and they tell you where to get all the fighting styles uh they have like detailed showcases talk to wanji yeah this is how you get black leg you can just like look at the trello like just look at the trello and it'll tell you where to go for the fighting styles and stuff because uh this video is getting too long there's no way i cover all of them after you maxed out day one um you're gonna want to farm bosses and farm bosses in this order because uh this is the easiest order first you're gonna want to get the headband because the headband is the easiest item to get at the moment after that you want to get the jaw thingy which is what you get at shell town from the little uh boss after that you're gonna want to get uh buggy's cape buggy's cape is gonna be really annoying to get because buggy is not an easy boss and he goes through logia but uh if you infinite combo him in a corner with your friends uh you can probably farm buggy but do know any of these bosses in this game uh foe you said they're not meant to be farmed solo so you need help if you're gonna farm these bosses like i can't get our long sword right now i want our long sword but i can't farm it because I'm alone like you need friends to farm these bosses so like do know any of the bosses after the headband you need help you need at least two people at least two people dude alright okay now we're back at Sandora and people are gonna ask oh why are you back at Sandora okay we're here at Sandora because now that you're max level you should be focusing on farming bosses farming bosses is what you're gonna need to do because uh, look at my stat points I don't really have that much points in defense because I still have a lot of HP by just using items items is what's gonna help you late game you're gonna need items boss drops is help the bandit eye patch is the first item you're gonna want because this is the easiest item that you can get and it gives you free hp i don't know if he changed it but uh how i got my bandit eye patch was farming these npcs but it may be the little bandit npcs at the start island so yeah either one of them drops you the little thing and this is an item that you can get if you want you, you can keep killing lucid if you want the cannon uh the cannons and also another good item but i don't really use the cannon like that but you can get it if you want but yeah those are the two items that you can get at this island next we're gonna go to shell town before we leave this island there's something important i forgot to go over um this island is very important because you need this island to train your logia and you can train your buso here while you're at it so basically i'm a logia user i reset my devil fruit um basically that means my logia is now reset meaning that uh my logia isn't trained anymore because unlike other one piece games in this one piece game you have to train your logia and basically when you come to this island you just want to put your points into defense and just put like an auto clicker on and just stay in game and just have this npc shoot you over and over until um your logia is maxed out 
so basically um if you keep doing this your logia is gonna get trained until you can take like 30 logia dodges so yeah him shooting me over and over just proccing my logia like that trains my logia that's how you train your logia and while that's happening you can train your buso if you want to basically you just like set up an auto clicker and just sit in game right here and just make the auto clicker press j over and over to train your logia just wait for the bar to run out and then you just keep pressing the buso bar over and over that's all you have to really do for training logia and if you want to train your buso you can do that here as well all right once you're here you're gonna want this little jaw thingy that morgan drops uh you can talk to zoro for the quest right here i'm gonna quit this and you're gonna need like at least two people to farm this quest right here because this is a boss bosses are not meant to be farmed solo you're gonna need at least two people to farm this um you want to keep killing morgan until you get uh the little uh metal jaw thingy and this metal jaw gives you hp uh if you see right there 73 put it on 298 so yeah you want to keep farming morgan until you get the little boss draw and he doesn't hit through logia so yeah you can use your logia on this guy if you want to the next boss you're gonna farm is probably the orange town boss which is buggy um if you go past the barista um there's buggy and you can farm that if you want but do know that buggy um he hits through logia so you're like your logia takes no effect you don't need logia for this boss like your logia is literally useless against buggy you're just gonna hit straight through it all right, so we're here. This is Orange Town. This is right past the barista. There's no quest that you do on this island for leveling. You literally just come here just to get the cape. And the cape is really good because it gives HP. Look at that. 248. I put it on 298. So, yeah, this is a really good item that you're going to want to get. But do know there's a lot of NPCs here. And Buggy, he hits through Logia. But you're going to want to glitch Buggy into this house over here. And then you, like, kill Buggy in here. But you need at least two people to do this. Like, it's so annoying trying to do this solo. It is really, like, not efficient doing it solo. You literally can't. Well, you can probably if you have Bomb Bomb. Because that fruit is really strong. But y you need help. Like, don't try and do this solo. Another item you can get is Arlong Sword. But I can't get it because my luck is trash. But, yeah, we're going to go to uh, Spinks Island. Because this is an item that you really need. And this is the Monkey King's Crown. The Gorilla King Crown. This item gives you two times HP regen. But the drop chance is really low. But this item, you want it. Like, this item is mandatory. You need this item. This item is good. This and the cape, it's mandatory. This is the last boss drop that you need. You can talk to the NPC right there if you want the quest. But, yeah, you can just keep farming this monkey until you get the item. But do know this monkey does heal. Like, this monkey heals. Look at that. It's healing. It's literally healing all that damage that I did to it. And then once it heals, um, all the monkeys get aggroed onto you. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, starter guide and, like, leveling guide thingy day one. I don't know what to call this video. But, yeah, we're done. Um, Hopefully, this helped you guys a lot. If I missed anything, please don't be scared to use the Trello. The Trello helps you guys out a lot. This tells you how to, like, get everything in the game. So, use the Trello to the best of your advantage. This is a map of the game if you don't know where anything is. So, yeah, right now, uh, what island am I at? I'm at Sandora. So, I'm at Sandora right now. Um, I just died and I got TP'd from the Monkey Island all the way back to Sandora. But, yeah, this is where everything is. Use the Trello. It helps you a lot. That's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed playing GPO. Um, this was a little starter guide video. I'll see you guys later. Take care.